Apex Alchemy. Got Courtney here with us today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see how they're doing. <laughs> uh, today we got a full size boy to unbox. It is the Benchmade Adamus. It's the 275FE2. I'm uh, I'm setting to the right. I'm usually setting the center, so it's a little, <laughs> little weird. But it's a black class. Uh, I believe this is the black class is uh, it's kind of military-ish or or um, you know, military-like or or uh, a police-like type of uh, bench maids. You guys probably know that, but this is a real unboxing. It's sealed, like uh, got it in today in the mail, and I can tell it's heavy. You know, like which I've looked up the the specs. You know, I know it's gonna be a heavy knife, but we're gonna we're gonna cut it. I got the 229 and the 8015 out just to uh, just for, for for some size comparisons. I figured I figured that would be fair. So open the box. Got this thing tilted um, so that uh, the size difference. If it's flat. The one, the knife in the back always looks smaller, you know, than what than it, it really is. is. Of yeah, so I just wanted to tilt it, and I'm gonna have to come up with something a little bit more permanent. But I notice this board's not gonna last forever anyway. Just like putting these pins in, I, that cracks just keep it keeps getting bigger. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so like it's it was you know we'll come up with something more permanent. I already know, like I've already said one thing that's very different about this knife than the blue classes that I'm used to buying, or as I used to be used to buying. It comes with a nice like a, a molly uh, type of uh, pouch, you know. I, I don't suppose it'd be uh, constricted to molly, but you know, you could you could put it anywhere where there's Velcro. So like, it's it's got instead of just a regular little nylon bag that's not usable. And and to uh, just want to let you know, you know, like like straight up, I have handled in store a mini Adamus. But I've never handled uh, a full size Adamus before, so I don't guess I've ever even seen one. Have you ever heard of it? I've heard the You've name, heard but the I name. don't think I've seen it. Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, that's. And, and do we know what this is? I don't have a clue <laughs> what that is, and I, I, I will figure it out though. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably not in that. <clears throat> that's usually just warranty information and stuff like that. I'm just curious what the little plastic case is for. Right. All right. That's a tough button. It is a little tough button. So inside, it's got the little access card like you normally get. I like the fact that it comes with a deep carry pocket clip, like straight up. Cause you know, like uh, I, I think I, I, I interchanged or, or no, 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 no. I, I, I took the deep carry pocket clip off off the Benchmade 4A, and I put it on mm -hmm. my 940. And then when I sent a Rift back in, or a Contego, uh, for a blade replacement, I uh, asked them if I could have another one, and then I, I, I stuck it back on the uh, the, the foray. But, uh, okay. I mean, it's, it's not like, it's not as big as, it's big, but it's not as, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Flips good. It come open easy. It's... Gonna need working in. Yeah, it's gonna need working in. Just initial thoughts and impressions. I'm not trying to be quiet here. I'm just uh, trying to absorb it. But I'm I'm loving the thumb ramp. You know, uh, it's got G10 scales. It's got a crew wear uh, blade. Uh, it's a Shane Siebert design. Uh, it's an access lock. And I mean, like, really? Yeah, I may, I may have to mess with that one. I don't know. Well, uh, uh, yeah, it'll break in. It'll break in. And usually, like, I've, I've got my my hands outstretched, and like, uh, I would I would say like normally under normal operation, you have a little bit more uh, freedom with your with your elbows and stuff to to manipulate it. Yeah, that's a big old joker. It is a big old joker. <laughs> try to flip it. I'm going to try. Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's big. It's big. And it's new and it's tight. There we go. I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's new and tight. That is a it's a huge knife. It is. <laughs> it's thick too. It is thick. Yeah, it's it um yeah. I I want to say it's almost uh like I think it's like 0. 0.65 um inches thick. I, I do like the circles. Like in the handle, <laughs> I believe they do that for weight reduction. It's like you know, I, yeah. I, I, Let's see. I, but but I, it's also like kind of a oh. uh, <laughs> yeah. Just kill the rig off. <laughs> just kill the shot. Off. Well, I flipped it. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna try to cut the the, the shot Here, take that thing back <laughs> in half with the crew wear and see if it's if it's everything it was supposed to be. Uh, uh, very quick, I want to go over some numbers. Uh, just, just in case, like you're unfamiliar as well. So we've mentioned it's a Shane Siebert design. Uh, specifically, it's a two seven five FE dash two. This is the one we're covering today. It's an OD green uh, with uh, scales and a like a flat earth blade. I do like the colors together. I do too. It looks good. It's very military ish. Um, so we got a. Uh, the, the blade length is 3.78 inches. And since it is crew wear, we can expect a, a Rockwell hardness of 63 to 65. It's got a drop point blade, I believe. It's a flat grind. But, uh, 6.45 ounces overall. Heavy. Heavy, very heavy. Well, I'm not used to an access lock being that stiff out of the box. I mean, it's, it's, uh, uh yeah, down a little bit. Yeah. I think, and I'm, I think I'm also used to being able to have a little bit more purchase on the handle to be able to manipulate that access lock a little easier. Overall length is 8.89 inches. So that's going to be almost nine inches. Yeah. That's, that's going to be like zero tolerance on 920. Um, So, but, but, that's not perfect. Um, Let me move it. No, it's okay. I mean, it's it's really close, but it is it is a tad bit bigger or, or longer than the the eighty fifteen. And let's stand them up side by side. So, as far as a redemption two twenty nine, it's about a good half an inch. And maybe three quarters. Yeah. Maybe three quarters inch uh, longer than the. Yeah, it's a big the, boy. Yeah, it is. It's a it's it's a full size knife. And Dimco. Not as. Almost identical. Yeah. And I mean it's Maybe a, it it is a, a little smidgen. there is a there's a there's a little bit of a difference but it's looks like it's very very similar in size to the Dimco. Looks like it's a little thicker. When you had them turned sideways. Oh, sorry. No, oh, you're fine. That's just something no, that's I a good point. That's a good point. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Okay, just cut. Yeah, it looks like it's actually got a little thinner of a, uh, of a, of a frame than the, the Code Steel ID15. I keep on calling it a Demco. It's, it, I mean, it is, but it's not. You know what I mean? Because like Demco makes customs. Yeah, it's actually like. It, yeah, it's thin. It's it's a thinner profile than the the ID15. And it's almost identical to the 229. Yeah. So I, it's a hefty knife. It's as it's it's as heavy as the 8015. Um, like almost exactly uh, the weight, you know, which is kind of crazy since it got milled out G10. But I bet those that that could be that's that's probably titanium or or uh, stainless steel liners. Uh, I don't know because I didn't look that up. Yeah, but, like I, I don't know about the crew wear and all that, like weight wise compared to me other neither. metals, but you got a lot of a lot of blade. There you do have a lot of blade there. Weight. Yeah. Um, do you have any initial thoughts besides? It's, I personally wouldn't care to be pulling my pants down all the time. <laughs> Honestly, I would. <laughs> 
I, I like like uh, I, I do I do enjoy this this size of knife, you know. Uh, but honestly, uh, I, when I handled the mini Adamus in store, I I I, I think that would prob that may be um, more your more my size for an access lock. Not not okay. Yeah, I, it's it's just just to be able to get the the right grip yeah, on the to, access lock and actually do it. I mean it's. You're gonna be able to sling it, but like, you know, um, comfortably. As far as the, like a drop, yeah, it's not dropping, man. You know, like you can sling it, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of used to bench maids being droppy, and it's you know, like at any point, it's not droppy. You know, maybe the we have a 940 that come in the mail today too. Instead of getting a blade replacement, I just got a new knife. Uh, so. I'll I'll leave this out. We'll you know, we'll do a, a 940 unboxing. It, it will not be either of our first experiences with the 940. We've owned several, but um, but I just I, I got a new one instead of paying the 90 for the blade. Uh, I, I I just went ahead and got, and got a new knife, and I'll have an extra set of scales. Uh, and it d does seem like heavy duty if you, it, you yes. wanted to yes. to do some major. It's got work excellent with a knife. Excellent jumping. On you know like on the thumb ramp. I mean it's it's excellent. It, it feels really comfortable. Like I mean, it it feels. Did you did you feel that? And it's it's got it on got the it back, back too. Back. Like so like if you were you know gonna okay. you know like carry, and it's got jumping on the on the the far back as well. So like um, if you wanted to carry it like this, or I mean if, if you wanted you to use it. it like that, and and I don't as far as combat goes. Like, you know, I, I hear all these stances are, are kind of uh, uh, not exactly uh, um, ideal. Yeah. You know, like this would probably be your ideal combat stance. I, I don't know because I've never knife fought. I've just listened to people talk. But, um, but there are instances where you're trying to cut around something. And that, get that more leverage that yeah, way. Yeah, like say you're trying to cut through a pipe, you yeah. know, and, and you, you reached around so that, that you know, like, if you want to, you know, cut cut around the pipe, then you hold it like this to cut around the rest of it. So, like, this yeah. isn't always how you, you know, everybody will carry, you know, like hold a knife when they're right. when they're operating. But it's got jumping everywhere. Yeah, and, and like to be as big as it is, it is pretty thick. But to be as big as as it is, it is still pretty comfortable. It is in the hand and the weight. Is distributed. It is. The weight is distributed well. Let's see. <laughs> see if I can do it. Where yeah. Where is that balance point? <laughs> That's what I there was. There it is. Yeah, and and uh, you know, I've, uh, the, a lot of people look at you like you're silly when you're when you're testing that out. But the thing is, is like the balance point to me. If 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 you hold a knife like this, like where the balance point is. Yeah. And and the weight don't the, seem as the, bad. Man, there is no weight. Right. Like because you've got control over the 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 center the mass. Point. Yep. Yeah. And and there's so like you can if if you operate the knife from the balance weight and and just hold, hold it steady with the rest of your fingers, like you will let these two fingers do most A of the work. Your when, knife won't feel that as heavy. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, like I'm not saying it won't feel heavy in the pocket. And right. If you're a backpacker and you're counting ounces. It, it's gonna matter. Yeah. But I'm not a backpacker. I'm not. I'm not uh, hiking the Appalachian, so weight doesn't matter to me. You know, like not. Uh, I I haven't I haven't picked up a knife. And like, well, <laughs> I would carry it if it was a few ounces lighter. But um, anyway, yeah, the the balance point does matter to me. You know, like uh, it's just it's just, just usability. Does. Yeah. Okay, well that's uh that's our first impression of the the uh, not the mini Adamas but the full size Adamas uh, by Shane Sabert. Um, so that's that. It's a Benchmade Black Class. Uh, don't forget about our uh, our giveaway. Oh, well, we just hit 250 subscribers, so mm -hmm. we will be giving away. Uh, um, uh, was it Kaiser Kaiser Pinch? Mm -hmm. It's used. You know, like, but it's a, it's a, it's, it's just a small trophy or, or, or whatever. Well, let, let's <clears throat> aim for Friday. Yeah, we'll try to aim for Friday to do the drawing. That way, what? everybody 
all the new ones have a chance to, to yeah have an opportunity to get in on the drawing and stuff and um we didn't put an egg in it no we got to get busy with these eggs because uh, we got, we're running we got out plenty of, of more we do we got a lot more today we got we probably got <laughs> nine nine knives in today so uh well the when we do the egg uh well like when we finish up the eggs we will give people plenty of time to be able to catch up there won't be you know, we'll go ahead and get these eggs out here so people can find them but we won't do the drawing as soon as the eggs are over We'll give every, you know, we'll give, we'll give plenty of, we'll give ample time to be able to catch yeah, up. Yeah, I think right eggs. now we've got six people that are completely caught up, and one that's only missing one egg. But that, like, out of out of the ones that were saying they wanted to do it, that that's like where we stand right now. So awesome, awesome. Well, that's it for this one, and uh, we'll upload it and. And if you, when you see this, I may be uploading videos all night. So forgive me uh, if if the thing pings. We may try to schedule for you know for some of them to be released tomorrow. But uh, I, we've got a lot of knives to go through that we got in the mail today. And so I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Like and, button. Yeah, comment. man. You know, like like the video and, and leave a comment letting us know how much you love or hate the knife or how much you love or hate our videos. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, like whatever you want to comment, comment. It ain't gonna make us mad, and you're only gonna help the algorithm. <laughs> Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.